Our Seeds of Faith for today is entitled, Learn from the Storms in Your Life. Our country, the Philippines, is prone to typhoons. Now, what does the Bible say about storms? Now, here are three lessons about storms in the Bible that we can apply in our daily lives. Now, the first storm, the fierce storm that hit the ship of Jonah. It teaches us that God has used and is using and will be using storms in our life to remind us that what we are doing is not according to His will and that we are drifting apart from His purpose. Now, Jonah eventually realized this and he volunteered to jump from the ship and sacrifice himself to save others. Now, the second storm, the furious storm that came without warning during the boat ride of Jesus with His disciples. It teaches us that amidst the storm in our life, Jesus is our ever-present help in times of need. He will always be there to assure us that He will calm the storm when we ask for His help. Now in the story, Jesus was sleeping, but when the disciples asked for His help, He was there for them. Now the disciples, mostly they were fishermen and they could not do anything to steady the boat. They went directly to Jesus and ask for yourself. This teaches us that we need to come to Jesus first and not to try our own solutions that will eventually fail us. The third storm, it was the Northeaster storm that battered the ship of Paul on his way to trial in Italy. It is found in Acts 27, 14. It teaches us that the storms of our life are opportunities to be witness of Jesus to other people. Paul, although he was a prisoner, did not tremble, but stood tall and told them that what they had to do to stay alive, and then he courageously preached about God's plan in their lives. This story teaches us that in spite of our difficult situations, with faith and hope, we can still tell others that God is good. Jesus is always faithful. He will not let us down. May God bless us all. Amen.